dear students today i am going to uh, tell you something about future perfect tense yesterday i made a video on past perfect continuous tense okay earlier i made video on future simple future tense and future continuous tense so you can see my previous videos and i have seen that lots of people love my videos that i made on grammar and literature and if you uh, like this type of video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, please share it with your friends uh, during this situation covid situation uh, all the students are at home and so it will be helpful to them to uh, to study to continue their study and to clear their concepts concepts on on uh, grammars and also on english literature so this video will be helpful not only for our uh, uh, not only for school children but this will be helpful for college students also because tense is such a topic in grammar which we find from class uh, 5 onward till graduate level okay in ba also we find tense in blb also it is included so uh, it is uh, a very important topic tense in grammar because grammar is related okay grammar is related uh, because if you do not know grammar you cannot frame sentence so it is very important to learn grammar so that you can write and you can talk properly and tense particularly is very important because uh, it is like a base you cannot learn voice you cannot learn uh, narration or direct or indirect speech without learning tense well so let's begin today's topic so today's topic you know so the future perfect tense future perfect tense is used to indicate such action which will be completed at a point in the future okay so so there is a that uh, there is a what and and that okay you can say there is a stop we find in the future for example the person will have reached home before it rains okay so here uh, just like future just like um, future indefinite and future continuous we use here shall and will okay so with i and we we have to use shall and with the rest of the subject we have to use will is he run etc we have to use will okay you and the so any subject with except i and we we have to use will so let us see the structure of this tense subject plus self public will plus have so here you have to 
keep in mind that we do not have to use has here has or had only have we have to use with sell or will subject sell will plus have plus d3 d3 means verb past participle as object so let us see one example <coughs> a person will have will have reached home before it rains okay so the person will have reached home before it rains here one thing we have to keep in mind that in this tense we get two tenses one future perfect and another simple present okay you will have completed his work by 3 pm so this is another example okay so here we find like this before and also we find by okay so this this is the point where the person or the doer has to complete the action the student will have completed completed his revision his revision before the exam begins or commences okay. so here in the sentence what you find the students will have completed his revision okay before the exam begins or commences so this part this part is before the exam begins or com commences this part is simple present tense present tense and the first part is future perfect altogether this tense we cannot tell that uh, this is future perfect this simple future we we altogether it uh, we call it as future perfect sentence okay this sentence is of future perfect tense okay students so i think uh, your conception will be cleared okay so if you have any doubt then you can write in the comment section below and you can write whether you like this video or not okay so i'll make videos for you so please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell button so that you will get notification as soon as I upload any video. Okay, thank you.